um, this app work from HAXL. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the Math Studies Mock Prep 2017. So as you know, the school exam is coming soon in January, right? So that's why I make this video. So you know the 10 questions that you must know for um, the 2017 mock exam. So let's start. So the first question would be on the uh, compound interest, okay? So basically this is a must question type in your um, IB exam. So you, you need to know um, all the question type for compound interest. But in this video, I'm, I'm only going to share with you one of the types, okay? So Mary placed 7,900 HK dollars into the bank. That pays 6% uh, per annum, right? So 6%, the first thing I will do is 0 0.06. Okay, make it into decimal places, right? Compound yearly. So that means after one year, you get the interest, right? So calculate the amount that um, he will, she will um, receive uh, in uh, after 10 years, right? Okay, so how do you do that? First, you need to um, use the equation Z times 1 plus R power N. So this is on the data bullet, okay? So data bullet. So basically C, that means the original capital. So that is the amount you put it into the bank. And then 1 plus the interest rate. The interest rate is 0 0.06. And then close the bracket, right? So power n, n here means the compound time. So how many times uh, it compound? Compound 10 years, right? So then it will be power 10, okay? So then you just plug it in your GDC. 1 plus 0 0.06 power of 10, okay? So it's 1, 4, uh, 1, 4, 1, 4, 7.6, um, 6, 9, 6. So you round up 7, 0 because 2, decimal places, right? That's the first type. Okay, and then next question would be on the chi-square test, okay? This is also a must question type on your um, on your uh, paper. So chi-square, yeah? So 400 people of different ages were asked about the favorite type of cuisine, and uh, the table below show the results, right? So Chinese, Italian, Japanese, and a total, right? So basically this is different age. So first of all, you want to write out the null hypothesis, okay? So null hypothesis basically is always the same. You always assume two things, they are independent events. So now we're looking at what? Age and cuisine, right? So we assume age and cuisine, they are independent events. So always like this, that's it. And then if I ask you to write the alternative hypothesis, alternative then that means they are not independent events, okay? So that's it. And then, how do you find a, num degree, a number of degree of freedom? So degree of freedom basically um, is the column minus one, row minus one, right? Yeah? Okay, so all you need to do is just calculate the number of columns and number of rows, right? So one, two, three. So you ask me, do I need to calculate the total? So ignore the total, yeah? So ignore the total. So we only have three rows, three columns. So three minus one, three minus one. So that's two times two, So which is equal to four, yeah? So calculate the chi-square value. So again, you ignore the total, uh, total column and total row, yeah? You type in all this number into your GDC, okay? So basically now, we just go to GDC, okay? And then, oh, we actually need to go to uh, matrix. So for taxes model, for taxes model, you need to go to matrix and then add the matrix and then you type in, this is a three by three matrix, yeah? Okay, but for Casio, I'll show you um, in the video. Okay, so for Casio, you go to menu and then you go to statistics, right? And you see test, so you go to test, and then kind square test, right? And you will see uh, GOF and two way, so we go two way, and then this one, so observe math A, right? So that's a matrix A, and then we go F2. So this one, change it, so you press enter, change it to three by three, three times three, and then enter, and then type in the number 20, 60, and then 100, right? 50, 30, 40, and then 80. 5 and then 15 okay so then we go out and we calculate execute so you get the chi-square test value which is 133 so 133 is the chi-square test value so for D explain whether you will reject the null hypothesis or not so basically for um, the rejection you need to look at the 5% level right here so for 5% okay so let me draw a graph 
that we can visualize the thing. So 5% is right here, and then the null hypothesis, we get the uh, we get the p-value. You have to look at the p-value. So the p-value is zero. So it's basically like around here. Okay, so zero is here. So we start calculating the p-value from this way. So if next time I give you p-value is equal to um, 0 0.9, then it will be right here. Okay, so this whole thing will be 0 0.9. Yeah, so it's just example. So now we know that zero, which is a very small number, will be right here. Then what happened? So this bar, if this is standard, right? Okay, so you can imagine this is a standard bar. Okay, so what go beyond the standard bar, okay? What go beyond the standard bar would be rejected, okay? So, and what go inside the standard bar, so you're within the standard, so, so what, what you claim, what you said would be accepted, right? So right here, then you know that the 133 value is actually rejected. Do you get that? Okay, so if you don't understand the chi-square test value, you can um, do one lesson here. Okay, so we have covered like all the question type for chi-square test. Okay, this is a must-known question in your IB exam. Okay, next page. So Mary put um, $10,000 into the bank uh, with the nominal interest rate 7% per hour, uh, per, per year, sorry, per year, and then compound, compound quarterly. So basically, for this one is advanced um, compound interest question. Okay, so the first question you see is um, we just compound the number of year, right? Okay, but this compound by year. So, but this one compound quarterly. That means four times a year. Okay, so again, after 20 years. So you can apply the equation again. C times 1 plus R power N. So capital 10,000 and then times 1 plus R. So many students would just write 0 0.07, but that's wrong because compound quarterly. So quarterly, that means divide by 4, okay? Always remember that. And then power n here is not just 20. You have to multiply that by 4, okay? Why is that? Because you know that 20 years, okay? One year, I'll have 4 times. 20 years, you have 80 times. And then, just go to GDC. Type in the number. 0 0.07 divided by 4, power of 20. Yeah? Oh, 20. Power of 80 should be, sorry. 1 plus 0 0.07 divided by 4, power of um, 80. So that will be 40,000 something. 40063.92, two decimal places, okay? So after 20 years, this amount of money will become this. And then Mary will withdraw her money from the bank after a period of time. At that time, okay, so she got this amount of money left. So how many months? had Mary left um, her money in the account. So we just apply the same thing. So this time, uh, the unknown value would be the number of years, right? So we are not sure about the number of years right here, okay? But we still know that will compound four times a year, right? So then now, for question B, just write all the same, okay? So just replace number of years because I don't know what time, right? Will the amount go to here? So I'll just let the number of year be n here, and then 4n equals to, why is it 4n? Because like one year four times, and then 1, 2, 3, 1, 4.39, yeah? Okay, how do you solve this one? So basically you just need to solve it by using your GDC. So first I'll move the thing over to right hand side. So it's 1, 2, 3, point, 1, 2, 3, 1, 4, point 39 divide by 10,000. So it's 1.21, uh, 1.2314, 1 1.2314, 1 plus 0 0.07 divide by four, power four N, right? Okay, so you asked me like how to solve this equation. So you can just um, plot the graph actually. So we plot this, one plus 0 0.07 divide by four, power of four, x and then next is 1.2314 and then you plot the graph you find the intersection right trace the intersection point the n would be 1.48 uh, 1.149 so n would be 1.149 yeah okay so that's the number of years 
but this is not the number of months. So you have to multiply this because one year is equal to 12 months. So we multiplied this by 12. 1.1488 times 12. 13.7, 13.8 month. Okay, so that is the answer. Yeah, so next page.